Strauss. 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 So there's no owl. There's no owl. You know, it's normally slightly Strauss, Strauss, but it's just Strauss. You know, the, the Strauss is actually my favorite thing about the movie. I mean, short of making it five hours, it's hard to really go into the lives of people like Louis Strauss, who has a interesting. If people are interested, he's got a very well, he, interesting. He should have his own um, uh, biopic. I think. Then. Backstory and and possibly, but um, the the one thing I was going to say that I, the reason why I love the Strauss character and why it's a very Nolan thing to do is Nolan away from the Dark Knight trilogy. He loves he loves to subvert the antagonist role, and what you'll see in a lot of his films is that as opposed to having you know uh, let's say a normal baddie, let's say you watch like uh, Heat. Heat is a great film, but in Heat yeah. is clearly good people and bad people and obviously those are sort of you know there's you know nuances there and the film discuss it but ultimately as an audience you know he's good he's bad he's good he's bad mm. nolan loves to subvert that so he'll do things like um he'll make time an antagonist he'll make um so so in the case of oppenheimer he you know louis strauss's character is a kind of antagonist Did you say he'll make time the antagonist rather yeah, than so the actual inter- person so Interstellar, for example, is a great example of okay. throughout the film, time is the antagonist, right? There isn't there isn't really an antagonist, you know, there's obviously a few scenes of Matt Damon, but ultimately mm. time is the antagonist because that's who they're facing up against the whole time. Time is okay. always characterized in that film. Who's the antagonist in Oppenheimer? So that's what I was gonna say is the interesting thing. So Louis Strauss is so obviously we're I'm mean, spoiling the film because it's a fucking podcast about the movie. But <laughs> yeah. um, Louis, Louis Strauss is obviously built up as being to 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 the audience. He's almost like a supporter of Oppenheimer, right? He's building, building, mm-hmm. building as a supporter, and it, and it was the case actually historically that um, that that was that was true. But then we start to get nuances in Louis Strauss about his background, certain small moments um, um, between himself and 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 Oppenheimer. Um, and then Louis Strauss starts to sort of fall into the backdrop of the United States. So we come to realize as an audience mm-hmm. that the United States is playing a key antagonistic role um, in in Oppenheimer's life. So yeah. what tends to happen is him antagonizing Louis Strauss, which he does quite openly, both in the movie and historically, <laughs> ends up obviously buying him on the arse because he has to go through the whole court proceedings and he finds himself facing a kind of post nuclear America which is kind of fronted by Louis Strauss this kind of um, post New Deal post um, uh, atomic bomb United States mm-hmm. um, and suddenly it's like this giant of a new USA emerges where we have that great scene we mentioned with Truman and that yeah. is ultimately the um, the antagonist right because we're coming from because the start of the film it's all it's all about you know the the threat of communism but hold on we're past that we're heading into world war ii um hitler is the baddie um and then we get to japan being the baddie and then we end it with oppenheimer as essentially is he the is he the baddie of it all um Mm -hmm. so that's why i thought the lewis strauss character plays so well because um one thing robert downey jr is so good at doing and i think why actually having watched it he's great for the role is he maintains charisma all the time, whether he's being an asshole or whether he's being a good guy. He's charismatic and it works so well as his role as, as Louis Strauss because he's able to pull the strings until they all come undone. He's so good at pulling all the strings um, in that movie. 